Hey, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, this is Lenovo IdeaPad 320S. So today this video is all about how to install Windows in EVFI based Secure Boot. Either this is Windows 10 or Windows 11. By the way, this one machine does support Windows 11. There is no any TPM, but there is PTT. The security module is available. So that's why it does support Windows 11. But anyway, today I'm installing Windows 10 by in EVFI by enabling the PTT and the secure boot. So first of all, you need to find the hole on the right hand side, which is called Nova button. Either you can use the CM ejector tool or you can use any paper clip like that. And straight away, the 320S would turn on and it would give you the Nova button functions include BIOS setup, boot menu, system recovery and other stuff. So from here we're going to go to BIOS setup still. All right. So from the BIOS as you can see the first one is information. You don't need to do anything. And if you want to install Windows 11 you have to follow this setup. So go to configuration which is nothing and then if you click the right arrow you can go to security which is the third option. All right. So from third option, as you can see, this is the one secure boot has to be enabled. If this is disabled, make sure. All right. And once you've done that, then go back to the top, which is called Intel Platform Trust Technology, which is PTT. PTT has to be enabled. This is similar to, you know, TPM. All right. Don't be confused. This is from Intel. Just hit enter and just make it enable. This is exactly the same one as I said. So once you make it enable, the whole system is ready to either install Windows 10 in EVFI by enabling Secure Boot or Windows 11 regardless. And if you go to boot the right one, then you can see the boot mode is only EVFI. EVFI setup wouldn't work if you leave the Secure Boot off. So both has a relation. Both of them has to be enabled at the same time. There is the last option left which is USB boot. So USB boot has to be enabled if that is disabled, remember. Okay, and that is the last setup that we done. Now we're gonna save the changes, whatever we done. To record to save these settings, we have to press F10. Okay, and say yes. And now click again to the noble button. We paper clip or CM ejector tool and from here we're going to choose the boot menu and once we choose the boot menu hit enter then it's going to take us directly to the temporary boot option I'm going to choose my USB which is that one and uh, this one does have contained Windows 10 in EFI environment okay if you do have even Windows 11 then it should come up to the boot menu and it should start up by the way this time I'm using Windows 10, so don't be confused. If you want to try Windows 11, you can do that with the same settings. Pretty much that's all. Now it's going to boot up. It takes a little bit of time. The speed depends on your what type of you know, USB thumb drive that you have. If you have a 3.20 version instead of 2.0 version, then it's going to be much more quicker. So from now it's pretty standard as you can see the Windows setup page already came up. Okay, recently I upgraded uh, secondary SSD to expand the storage. That's why I'm installing fresh Windows 10 in EVFI. I'm going to keep carry on with this video. Somebody might need help. But if you just wanted to know the setup, then pretty much that's all. Or if you want to enjoy the rest of the video, you're welcome. Please let me know how did you like this video. If there is any question, don't forget to leave it in the comment section and I will try my best to reply. Thank you guys.
so finally this IdeaPad 320s is ready for Windows 11 you can test yourself remember the PTT and TPM both of them almost same similar okay it does work same both of them for security purpose and uh, TPM 2.0 and PTT both of them does fill up the Windows 11 requirement hope you would enjoy it still if you do have any question please make sure you leave it in the comment section and if you do like this video please thumbs up and i hope i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching bye for now